Let's see what we got going. Oh, we can just walk on these. We can just walk on the tankers and destroy them. Or can we? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, no, we lost a PPC and four LRMs. Because we stupid. Dear God. Welcome back to another episode of our very special Let's Play series where we play Mech Commander. We're working our way through the original campaign, and when last we met, we just finished the six mission uh, beachhead campaign, and we had successfully sort of fought our way onto Port Arthur. And now it is time to solidify our hold on the Smoke Jaguar clan world and begin to assault their supplies and their forces and all sorts of other stuff. Let's go ahead and return and see uh, what our commander has to say. So, Commander, what is our mission? Incoming transmission. The success of Operation Beachhead opens the way for our advance. Your next goal will be to cut Jaguar supply and communication lines. The Clanners have already begun using the railroads to bring up fresh units, and they've diverted their Omnimex to protect their supply convoys. You'll find the Jaguar supply depots in the area to be quite well stocked. These are also heavily guarded but the contents of their armories will be worth your extra effort. From our rebel friends, we have the location of several clan communication bases. The coordinates will be downloaded with your mission specifics. These are priority targets. We cannot allow the enemy to call up for reinforcements. The battalion will do their best to meet your needs. You will face the Jaguars best. I pray you are hitting hard. Okay, so that mission briefing was a bit of a jumbled mess. We're fighting supply lines. They're bringing up guys to reinforce. I don't know what's going on. We are escorting a hunchback 2C to the extraction point over there. Also looks like there's a base over here that we, we might want to try and raid. So our drop limit is only 150 tons, which kind of sucks, because if you remember last time, we just got an awesome new catapult. I really want to take that sucker into combat. So we're going to have to figure out a way to go in with 150 tons. Maybe this is, you know, as much as I want to see this catapult in action, maybe it's not quite time yet. What a tease, eh? What a tease. I really want to bring it into combat, but... So just look, actually, let's just see if any other cool mechs are for sale. Um, ooh, we can actually just straight up buy a catapult now. Well, pfft. Kind of takes away the excitement of having salvaged one. But, you know, we do things the old-fashioned way which is through grit and determination and salvage and still cannot buy a ppc i don't think uh nope oh, but they will sell us one lrm rack how nice of them man the, the com battalion command is being so stingy with stuff Ooh, a, a gauss rifle so gauss, gauss rifles are basically like faster firing ppcs uh but they have limited ammo so and they weigh a lot more so i Usually don't bother with them, but you know, they're a thing. Anyway, let's just see real quick if we threw in our oolers and I just want to see like how much weight we've got to play with. Mission drop weight. Okay, exceeded. so that exceeds the drop weight actually. So, okay, if we go in with two lynxes, the fire starter, and the centurion, we're at our weight limit. But we might want faster mechs. Like, it might be the case that we don't even need these medium mechs. It might just make sense to go in with speed. Commando J, Commando Ws. Hmm. That's way under limit. Um, okay, hold on. If we do this... I'm just playing around here, trying to see, like, what kind of weights we're going to work with. That. We could just bring those two guys and two commandos, maybe. That's a little different. Mission drop weight. Exceeded. No, we can't even. Wow. Um, our mech's way too much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go in with. I like having fast mechs. I like having powerful mechs. Okay, we're gonna. We're definitely gonna bring the hunchback and the hitman. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're bringing the catapult. Where is he? The catapult. He's ready, man. He's ready. We gotta find a good pilot. Okay, hold on. Let's this take everybody it, out. This is Countess. This is Mystique. I everybody, found. everybody this out. Out of your mechs. This is Lynx. This Get is on the Gareth. deck. Attention! I'm this calling everyone to attention here. 
Okay. This is so Gunman. we're definitely going to bring in the catapult because we got to. This is Hunter. You got Hunter it. Hunter will get to pilot it. But right now, that's our only mech. Uh, we also, by the way, we, we have never played too much around with vehicles, but... Um, I feel like vehicles are largely a waste of tonnage in this game. I mean, they have occasional uses. But I don't know why you would bring, like, a scout car. Just walk around with your mech. It even moves, like, slower than some mechs. Um, okay, so we have our catapult. If we bring our centurion... Where's that guy? Uh, Centurion guy, mech warriors. Let's have a good guy. He's quite skilled. This is Link. Lynx. Then we can have a 30 ton mech, which is an Uller. So done. Let's repair these guys. Even though it's probably, I'm probably gonna retire some of these mechs soon. Uh, nonetheless, I like having everyone in tip top shape. Okay, we have two Ullers. We don't want the guy with the auto cannon. We want this guy. This guy is definitely better. And two LRMs. Whatever. He's a little underweighted, but fine. And this is Hitman. Hitman. All right. There's our three mechs. Commencing that deployment. looks good to me. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. Sir, All right. So we have a hunchback guy over here. So we can't get to him and he can't get to us and we have to uh, escort him. Falcon. So we'll have Falcon kind of go over this way. Ooh, is someone coming to attack Falcon? Very good, sir. So the hunchback is really good at close range, it out, but so if we, hold on, how do we look at its data loadout here? It has a heavy ultra auto cannon, lasers. I mean, it has a lot of clan stuff, but it's just sort of like a short range mech. And obviously we want long range with our strategy. So we're definitely going to be stripping that thing down. But for right There's now. There's a new sensor contact. I've got a new sensor trait. Ooh, more sensor guys. It's funny how we have to escort this this hunchback. Meanwhile, we're on like the opposite side of a river. Like if it gets into trouble, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> what are we actually supposed to do to help it? There isn't much we can do, really. All right, let's go crush whatever this is. I'm on it, sir. Ah, guys guarding a bridge by the looks of it. You got it. Kaboom. The one downside to these guys having powerful weapons is, uh, oh, well, there goes the bridge. Yes, sir. I am the Wait. Oh, no, don't target me. Ah, oh, bastard. I think if I had been faster there, I potentially could have, uh, saved that bridge. But that's okay. I'm slow. I'm slow on the go. Next time, if we see, uh, if we see arrows, so those, those enemy vehicles were aerospace spotters and they basically are able to summon, uh, airstrikes and stuff. Alright, let's come over here and hopefully this is another bridge and no aerospace striker dudes. Okay, here, let's try this. We're going to destroy this fuel truck. Kaboom! Oh no, it destroyed the bridge! Crap. <laughs> Alright, well that didn't work either. One less bad guy. Um, thankfully, uh, you know, Falcon over here is just sort of like taking care of herself. Yeah, let's see what we can capture here. I barely even have to aim. Falcon, you don't have jump jets, do you? That would be very useful if you did. Alright, Falcon's just doing her own thing. Alright, let's... Tr third time's a charm! Let's find a bridge that isn't destroyed. Third time's a charm. This guy's our scout. He just freaking bolts ahead of everybody else. Not a wise tactic to do in the Battletech universe. You want everyone staying together. Sir, there's a new sensor contact. Okay, we have new sensor contacts somewhere. 
Okay, you know what? Just catch up to us, Falcon. Okay, we got a hunchback over here. Kaboom! We didn't take him down in one uh, in one volley. Kaboom! All right, there we go. Ooh, we even got a uh, couple Hollander mechs over here. Move this guy back. The one other thing you can do is sort of cycle who they're targeting, and whoever they're targeting, you can kind of move them out of range. No good, sir. The enemy's too close. Link's here. There definitely was a base up in the northeast, and I want to make sure we get it. Um, oops. I'm on it, sir. Yeah, you can see that they're really sort of taking Hitman to task. They're trying to take him down. I don't like that. Hitman's gonna run over here and capture these Enemy things. Aha! We stole your stuff! Ooh, resource warehouses. Easily done, Enemy components captured. This is Hitman. This building Ooh. captured. Piece of cake. Fuel truck. Okay, I'm not gonna detonate that because it will probably detonate supplies that I want. Okay, what is over here? Falcon? We have not technically come to help you or save you, but if you can capture some supplies for us, we'll be incredibly grateful to you. Is there anything worthwhile over here? Nothing. All right, Falcon, get over here. I think this base is pretty cleared out. Nothing, nothing. Just a bunch of fuel trucks driving around, minding their own business. Sir, there's a new sensor contact. Incoming fire. Uh, you can take that, Falcon. All right, let's see if my, my dudes can actually find a bridge. I told them to go help Falcon, so we'll see what happens. Close the gap, man! Oh no! Falcon? Oh no, Falcon! Uh-oh. We might actually fail this mission. Oh no. Where are my heavier dudes? Alright, everybody. Trying to get Hitman to go up here. You know what? You. Why don't you just run over here? This 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 mission has turned into a big mess. Luckily my guys are strong enough that my mistakes don't matter. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's coming together. Coming together. Falcon. So she looks damaged, but I think she just ran out of ammo. Yeah, she just has no ammo left. And so this game does a really weird thing to like keep track of the health bars. The health bars represent like pilot, uh, pilot health, weapon, ammo, and like armor. So it's like if you lose health on your health bar, it doesn't necessarily mean you've been damaged. It might mean like you're out of armor or your pilot got injured or something. So anyway, that looked a lot worse than it was. Literally all that happened was she ran out of ammo. We're gonna destroy all these guys for the lols. All right, here we go. Kaboom! Don't all park together in a land of airstrikes. You will die. All right, first mission off to Rocky Start, but I think we can agree it can only go up from here. I think I was not supposed to take a catapult and a centurion. I'm supposed to have faster mechs, but it didn't really matter. I also wonder if I could have crossed this bridge if I hadn't blown it up with the explosive barrels. I bet I could have, and I could have gotten over to uh, over to Falcon faster. Anyway, I like the fact that you can look at your salvage before the mission is even over. So, um, we got a Cougar. We got Clan LRM racks, which will be very mission useful. We got some really mission good stuff, successful. actually. We earned a bit of reputation along the way, which is what you got to do in the army, apparently. Not allowed to field more powerful mechs until uh, you have enough reputation. But, all right, we're kind of rocking it. So this time we have 200 tons, much more flexibility. Let's uh, let's make sure we strip 
out any useful equipment out of these uh out of these mechs here. Anything useful? Firestarter W. Ah, oh, the PPC. The like only thing I would have wanted out of that mech. Not available. And boom! Look at all these Clan LRM missile racks. Yes, please. And we'll take the lasers too, even. Um, I wonder if the Cougars are worth doing anything with. Probably too late at this point. I mean, they're. They have more armor than the uh, rulers. I don't know. Um, okay. So, 200 tons. Basically, that's just these guys. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start the process of retiring my light max here. So, we want to strip them of LRM racks and basic sensors, and we're going to end up selling a lot of them. I guess I'll take the large pulse ray right uh, laser off to this. LRM racks are the only thing I care about on this guy. And the sensors. Uh, LRM rack. That Uller. This one. Okay, we'll repair that for right now. I don't know if we're going to keep it or not. Uh, this one. PPC. Clan LRM racks. Definitely don't want to sell those by accident. The Raven. Uh, I'm going to leave the Raven as is, but I'm going to take it out of rotation right now. We don't want any of this junk. But the Hunchback 2C is better than the Hunchback. That's for sure. Because it's clan built. So clan mechs are better armored. They are faster. They're lighter. They're just better all around mechs. So we're definitely going gonna to take that one. Um, okay. So, now is the fun part. We have a bunch of cool... We we'll only have one PPC. We'll throw that on. So, every mech has at least one PPC, which is awesome. We're getting into the good territory. We have lots of clan LRMs, so we can start, uh... Equipping these onto our mechs. Boom! This guy just became a powerhouse. Four clan ER lasers. That's eight damage. Plus this is like, that's like 15 and a half damage. Plus this is just for peppering them from a distance. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll get rid of this uh, auto cannon. Throw on more of these. Oh, we have so many LRM racks. Okay, this guy, that's a beast. A beast right there. I mean, I, if I had more medium range weapons, I'd put them on, but I don't really, so there you go. Maybe. Can I do this? I'm gonna swap a couple of these. I think the clan LRM racks weigh almost the same as a laser. And then we'll throw on some clan lasers here. Oh, let's do it like this. All right, there we go. So two lasers, two uh, PPC, five missile racks in total. Guy has five. Oh, they have like almost the exact same loadout. That's very interesting. In fact, they have the exact same firepower loadout. Very interesting. Hmm. Oh, repair all, repair all. Um, this guy, he's a little underweighted. I wonder if we can fix that. This guy is fine as is. I, I can't do anything to fix his underweighting. Okay, well, whatever, he's fine. Falcon, Falcon here. you suck. Get out of my mech. This is the what beast. A beast. Beast wants back in the action. All right, Hunter and Beast together at last with Lynx and Hitman. Boom. Destroy all power generators. Get all units to the extraction point. You better believe I will carry those missions, that mission out. Commencing Let's deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. Mission two of Skyhook is a go, sir. So one, I guess one thing about this game is that in other Battletech games like uh, Crescent Hawks Revenge or Mech Warrior, or even the Mech Warrior 2 series like Mech Warrior 2 or I'm Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries, you get to play on other planets. This game is a much more contained story. It's almost a return to form in the sense of like it, it reminds me of the Crescent Hawks uh, 
Inception, which was the first sure. Battletech game. Sure. I think the first ever computer-based Battletech game, which took place entirely on the planet of Pacifica during a Kirita invasion, years before the clans would even appear in the Inner Sphere. This, of course, takes place much further in the Battletech timeline, but it's a very small adventure. It's just an adventure on one planet. It's a series of battles, but they all take place. It's not like you're flying from planet to planet, you know, like rebuilding your forces between planets and stuff. No, you're just all on one planet. Um, that was a perimeter alarm. If that thing goes off, then I think it summons units to you or turrets pop out of the ground or something. Bad stuff happens, basically. So you definitely don't want that to happen. You don't want you don't want the alarms to go off when you're invading a planet. But yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a different scale of adventure than some of the other Battletech games. Ah, uh, shit, Minefield. They've got my number. Not that it's a bad thing to have a different scale adventure, but it just it just is what it is, you know. I'm on it, sir. Um, bulldog, no crew. Oh, if we destroy the crew barracks, ain't nobody coming to pilot those. <laughs> well, that works out. Uh, we just slaughtered a bunch of uh, a bunch of crewmen. Try that. Now, what do we got over here? Oh, there's crew in these... these vehicles. Boom, boom. Yeah, see, like, by the time these guys get into range, I feel like it's... it's done. Oh, here's a commando! Oh, he's just running into battle. Kaboom! Oh, yeah, down he goes. He's like, why did I run into the middle of the fray? Down he goes. Let's kill one of these crew members. Kaboom! Oh, PPCs! Elrod, that was a big waste of ammo, actually. Yeah, that was fun, but a waste of ammo. I wonder if we can find the, uh, yeah, the turret controls right over here. Come on. Take over. Yes, all right, the turrets are now all on our side. Oh, we can even capture the headquarters. Vehicle repair. You can capture mech repair bays and then repair your mechs, which is quite handy. Okay, ooh, there's stuff to capture over there. We're taking that. Stuff to capture over there. Look at all these things to capture. Well, we're definitely going for all that stuff. Uh, but let's just carry out what we need to do over here first. We need to destroy all the power generators. Will do. Aha! Centur- or, uh, catapults. Kaboom! Oh, he fell down. Yeah, it's fun to, like, see them get knocked down, because by the time they get back up, they're just totally dead. Yes, sir. Boom. Target vaporized. So I think we just depowered our own turrets that we just captured, but whatever. One other thing you can do in this game is if you do realize that the enemy is like taking you to task, if you've captured some turrets, is just lure the enemy to his own turrets and it will spend time fighting them, which is usually pretty cool. Um, and sometimes it can be like a necessary sort of survival tactic. It'll keep you alive if the enemy is fighting its own turrets rather than fighting you. Um, okay, so this is where having slow but powerful mechs is, uh, working against me. <laughs> Good thing we have one fast mech to just run across the battlefield and collect this stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, it's probably just gonna be like lasers or something lame in here. I'm gonna make everybody sort of run over here. Everybody regroup. Oh man, look how slow this guy is. Beast! Get a move on. Get a move on. All right, and here comes the other dudes. Hitman is the only one who's taking damage, and he's in the lightest mech. I think everyone's too afraid to attack my catapult or Centurion. Let's go for the, uh, boom, high-res shots. I guess maybe they had this feature back in the day in case your computer wasn't good enough to uh, handle being zoomed out. Like, it was chugging away in, like, the zoomed out sections. I definitely remember when I got this game, my computer could barely run it. Uh, I definitely remember installing this game, I got some kind of error. I think I didn't have a sound card at the time, and the game wouldn't install without a sound card, which really pissed me off, because I was like, well, what? why do you need a sound card? 
Uh, you know, like, like, yeah, having sound would be nice. I agree, but why do you need one? And so I think I remember buying a sound card just to play this game. Or I might have borrowed one from a friend, installed the game, and then once it was installed, taken the sound card out of my computer, returned it to my friend. I can't remember exactly what I did, but there was definitely, I, I definitely did something with installing a sound card in order to play this game back in the day, which is just hilarious to think about. Because, like, nowadays, like, what kind of cheap computer doesn't have a sound card? Like, back in the day, I feel like I scrounged for computer parts way more. Like, you know, having, you know, a good enough video card and stuff, it was like... It, it was, like, hard to get the computer parts you needed. Like, I didn't have a lot of money, and my parents wouldn't always buy me the computer stuff I wanted. So, like, I remember my computer could sometimes barely run stuff. Nowadays, I feel like most computers can play everything. Like, the last time that I looked at a game's minimum requirements before I bought it, I can't even remember. But I remember back in the day, if you went into a computer store, I remember flipping over boxes of, like, Duke Nukem 3D and stuff and, like, looking at the basic computer requirements to see if my computer could even handle it. Again, I think... Most computers nowadays can play almost like almost anything, you know, except for like real like, you know, really hardware intensive games. But if you're just talking about like average strategy or shooter games, even uh, a, a standard typical like $500 computer, $600 computer could pretty much just run anything. Um, so it's it's just a different era of computers, I feel. Anyway, what have we been capturing? Two pulse lasers. Total waste of time. <laughs> I, I don't want to have to be the one to say it, but total waste of time. Anyway, let's uh, head over there. Right, all power generators get all units to the extraction point. Alright, will do. I need to start selling some of the extra equipment that uh, my crew has accumulated over the last few missions because we have too much spare stuff. Okay, see, this is the downside to having one fast mech and a bunch of medium mechs. Is look at this guy go. <laughs> he is gone, man. He's not waiting for anybody. He's like, see you later, grandpas. I got places to be. Usually, I like keeping all my mechs the same class. So it's like if, if three of my mechs are going to be this speed, I'd rather the last guy also be this speed, just so that they automatically stick together. It's dangerous when one guy goes off by himself. As you have seen, when a single enemy runs into my field of vision and I just obliterate him, you know, when one mech, one mech by itself this is can my be easily destroyed, <laughs> this is not careful. Plus, this right. guy is damaged. All right, come on, guys. In fact, I'm going to make Hitman his own group. It's like, functionally, he's not running around with the other guys. He pretty much is his own group of guys at this point. Yes, sir. Here we go. Ba Boom. One round. You know, if you go back to like the Crescent Hawks Revenge, if you guys know that game or like I, I did a full playthrough of it uh, a ways back. It's funny to think like in the Crescent Hawks Revenge, when you had to fight an enemy mech, how stressful and complicated it was and how easily it was to like lose to like one mech. And now in a game like this, it's like literally you just mow mechs down like like nobody's business. It's interesting how the developers took the same Battletech rules and implemented them differently. Like, this game was made basically by, like, Micropros and Microsoft and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they erred on the side of, uh, you know, yo, let's let's make this fun. Let's let's not go super hard. Best Knox Revenge is definitely, is definitely a really hard game. I'm on it, sir. Okay. This is Hunter. Well, that guy this almost got obliterated in one shot. It, sir. Yes, sir. Take out these SRMs. He's just still lying on the ground. Oh, he got back up. Oh, now he's dead. <laughs> oh, there's elementals. There's clan elementals. That's interesting. Uh, so that is uh, little armored soldiers. They're really easy to kill, but they uh, are kind of really annoying. They're good harassers and taking out light enemy mechs in the Battletech lore. I forgot that they were in this game. They're dead now, though. Obviously, they're not super powerful, but... Um, if they catch a light mech off guard, they can take it down, basically. It's sort of a cost-efficient way to use up some extra bodies in the clan universe. 
enemy components captured. Enemy components captured. Yes, sir. Okay, so before we destroy this last power facility... Oh, okay, after I destroy it, I have to get everyone to the uh, extraction point. I was gonna say, I don't want the mission to end because there's like one more uh, barracks thing over here. I think some guys just ran out of ammo, actually. Got a payload. Oh, two rounds left. Yeah, these guys are running low. Alright, out of ammo. So notice he just lost a bunch of health. All these guys lost health, in quotes. It's because they ran out of ammo. I'm on it, sir. Okay, uh, this looks like it might be a minefield on the other side, hence I'm going to burn the forest down and we're going to go through the forest here to capture this, which is probably nothing. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not really getting good stuff from the um, containers. In fact, you know what? We're not really getting good stuff from the containers. Screw risking a minefield. Let's just... You got it. Or actually, I guess I could call down airstrikes, and that could clear the minefield if there are mines. I'm on it, sir. Oh, there totally Ooh, were mines there. there. I'm pretty sure. Yes, sir. Okay, can you guys I'm for the fences. destroy this? I'm on it, sir. I'm on it, sir. Hunter here. I have a new contact on my screen. Okay, they don't want to fire at the uh, forest. Some of it. Interesting. I have a new sensor trait. I'm going to call down another airstrike here. Clear these mines. Large strike. Boom. This is like such a waste of airstrikes, but I'm too lazy to like do it any other way. Plus, I don't really need the airstrikes. There we go. This is like a long wait just to get one container. A harasser, a harasser, and a bulldog. All right, we're good. No more mines, right? Wait. Kill that field. guy. We have nothing but PPCs now. I'm under attack. I'm on it, sir. Enemy Doesn't matter. Yes, sir. So the LRMs, I feel like, are just harassing weapons. They don't actually really do too Enemy much damage. This building's captured. It's interesting, like, I don't know why they made the different, the, the changes to the Battletech sort of damage in this game. So, like, normally in the Battletech game, a PPC does 10 points of damage and causes 10 heat. They changed it to 7.5 damage and a 7.5 second recycle time. I get that they're switching out heat for recycle time, and that's fine. But why go from 10 damage to 7.5? Like, it's weird to scale it like that. It's like a weird value to scale it by like 75 percent i don't know are my guys like not willing to attack the forest what is happening here can you attack no problem sir no problem sir no problem uh wait how am i supposed to get to the extraction zone okay how about this everyone come over to the far side I've never had them refuse to shoot the forest. Maybe they think like with lasers and stuff, there's no point, but they all have lasers still. They just ran out of missiles. Okay. Hitman, you do the scouting, man. Show these fools that there's a way. Yeah, look at this. Easy. Okay, so everybody else. Where are you guys? They were like so confused. They're like, but there's forest in the way can't possibly get through that all right here comes everybody we succeeded i do kind of wish that if you killed all the enemies in this game it would just basically say mission successful you know like why make you run to the end point i mean i guess it gives you a chance to look for other component warehouses or whatever to capture but nonetheless i kind of feel like it'd be nice to have a like end mission button so i could just end the mission Like, I'm clearly Mission not in any threat of dying at the moment. There Mission we go. Successful. Succeeded! Oh, yeah. I like to see these as zeros. My guys are racking up kills. Even beast. And did we get anything cool? 
So a couple of clan LRMs, maybe that final warehouse was a little bit worth it. All right, 300 tons. Now comes the fun part. The more the more the tonnage limit goes up, the more fun we can start having. To the point where we can have, oh my God, we could buy an Atlas. Holy jeez. In fact, we can even afford an Atlas right now. Two ER PPCs, that would be insane. Yeah, what's the mission? Destroy the convoy. Uh, we do want some speed. We do want some semblance of speed here. Um, so, even though we want speed, I don't know if we do want these heavier mechs. Uh, what is our limit? Limit is 300 tons. I think these guys clock in at 200. Hunter, 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 beast. Yeah, 200. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We'll repair this guy anyway. I'm kind of thinking maybe we, we have a couple of cougars. Cougars go 27. These guys, so 27 meters per second. It might be nice to have a strike force. So I'm kind of thinking, why don't we repair up these cougars? We'll have cougars and oolers as our strike force. And then whoever's left over can be in heavy mechs as like the uh, you know, heavy hitter dudes. Seems like a good strategy to me. Oh, I even have clan sensors. Uh, I'm not going to risk them at the moment. We'll put them in better mechs. Um, all right, Oolers. Well, one PPC, of course. And then... Uh, where are my components? Guess I could give you a clan Goss rifle. About the same as a PPC. Only better range, actually. Um... And LRMs, LRM, LRM, LRM. Now, is there any? No, they're like ER lasers or anything. Okay, I give them a little bit of short range weaponry too. So they have a PPC, LRMs, and a bit of short range firepower. That has PPC, and we need one more Uller. Got this guy too. So we'll go with an Uller. I don't know. Uller A, I guess. Um, Alright. Components. He has an auto cannon already. Hmm. It might be okay. Yeah, I guess so. And we'll just throw. LRM on? It just seems so weak to only have an LRM and an auto cannon. Maybe this guy will just have short range weaponry. Let's see what I can fit on him. Oh no, okay, never mind. Um Eh, whatever, okay. Sure. So we have our little strike force here of fast mechs, and we'll throw on Falcon here. Yes, yes sir. Falcon, you can this go back in action. You This is Countess. Countess can get back in the Hitman, alright. So here's the fast team. We got uh, Hitman, uh, Countess, or whatever, Falcon. There's Countess, there we go. And, oh look, that's gonna be perfectly 300. Cool. I think that, I think that's pretty good. So we have three slow mechs and four fast mechs. That will be pretty good. So the, 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 the scout lance will go ahead, scout, see what's going on, report back, lure everyone into the big force. This is going to work. Alright, so there's the convoy that we've got to intercept. And we're wasting time looking at it, so... Off we go! Everybody go! So the scout mechs, if you guys can all like come over this way here. I like having the, I like the cougars. The cougars actually look pretty cool. So it's kind of interesting how like, I, I feel like when the clans first appeared in video games and stuff, like they were just beasts. Like they, they were just, uh, here, let's do this. Boom. All right, fire will. Take down all these stupid little pests. One less bad guy. 
No problem. They are like really harassing this one guy. One less bad guy. Um, when the clans first appeared, I feel like they were beasts and they like just dominated. But like it's kind of interesting to play this game because if you had never been exposed to BattleTech and you played this, you probably wouldn't get the sense that the clans were that powerful. <laughs> Because they, uh, they kind of were pushovers. Just the sense of, like, look how easily we're, like, flying through all their defenses. Like, we haven't lost a single mech across, like, this is our eighth mission. Um, I can't tell if they, if they depowered the clans over time or if this game, like, really didn't portray them as powerfully as they were in the universe. But, like, I used to read the Michael Stackpole novels because I was really into Battletech as a kid. I was that cool. And I, like, I definitely remember even in the novels, like, when the clans first invaded, they took out everything. Like, no one could stop them till Comstar had the battle at Tuckeyid. I am pronouncing that wrong. I know it. And they defeated them and they halted the invasion for 15 years or whatever it was. Um, but... Then all the Inner Sphere, like, just teamed up. And then all of a sudden, once they were fighting together, they were able to push the clans back. Not, like, with with no difficulty, but certainly it was a lot easier than when the clans first appeared. And I always wondered, like, why did the Inner Sphere just suddenly have a much easier time defeating them? Like, I guess it was better tactics or whatever, but... It kind of feels like this, where it's just like, oh yeah, the clans? Turns out they're not that hard. <laughs> You just have to sort of plan for it appropriately. Load your mechs up with PPCs and LRMs, and it turns out, uh, you know, they're not that big of a problem. Hey, look at that mall. That's cool. Fast food <laughs> and strip mall. I like that. Um, oh, get out of here, aerospace spotter. Those guys can actually be deadly. Um, okay, let's keep running over here. Guard. Oh, yeah. Annihilate him. I feel like this crew is going to attack the convoy and, and, like, destroy it before, like, the beasts even get there. So we got Hitmans. We should name our different uh, crews. That's how they do it in, like, mercenary movies and stuff. So we got uh, Hitman's Roughnecks and Beast's Boys. That'll be the two squads. Hitman's Roughnecks. The Roughnecks are sort of the lighter squad, and the boys are like the heavy hitters. Beast's Boys. Kaboom! Die! I mean, I guess the clans are pushover when you fight the B team, because I feel like we're fighting nothing but vehicles. Um, can we go over this bridge? The place we can go? Yes, there we go. Who's over here? A tank? A single tank? Don't you blow up that bridge! My fear of seeing a bunch of missiles flying at the bridge is that they're actually going to destroy the bridge. Or maybe intentionally. That'd be a good tactic. If you're the clan, you should have destroyed that bridge. Definitely would have stopped, uh, stopped my attack. I like how they have the little, uh, little, uh, facial animations every time the pilots want to tell you something. Oh, look, Countess, she is, what? What happened to her? Oh, she ran out of Goss rifle ammo. Yeah, and now look, see, her health is, like, really low. But that actually does not indicate that she's taking damage or anything. It does indicate that she's become worthless to me. Hitman's roughnecks have no have no place for a mech that has no ammo. Just say that. Alright, where are the boys? The boys are taking their time. They are in no rush. They're 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 totally willing to let another crew do all the work. It's fine. It's fine by them. They're not in it for the glory. They're also kind of lazy. And <laughs> lazy and smart. It's the smart way of winning a war. Let another team do all the battles for you. Okay, is there a hill? I would love a hill so that I can sort of see what's coming. Not seem to be any hills. Scouting around, looking for this convoy here. Do not seem to be able to find it, though. Watch it. It's like going around me. <laughs> I don't even notice. Where is this thing? Hello? 
I'm here to kill you if you could come out now. I brought all these mechs. We'd really like to kill you now. Oh. What is happening? Oh, aerospace spotter, eh? Oh, you run! Oh, he got, uh, he got Falcon. Incoming. That last shot rang my bell. Yeah, it rang your bell good. I told when I tell you to move, you move, Falcon. You move your ass. There's a new sensor contact. Okay, here they come. Good thing we have long-range weapons. Some of us, anyway, those who didn't waste all their, uh, all their ammo. Destroy the convoy. Alright. Come on, boys! Where are you, boys? One less bad guy. No problem, sir. Oh, bunch of salvage trucks. Ah, oh, here they come, finally. The supposed A-team. Showing up late. Um, alright. Guys run over here. Guys help take these guys out. Okay, I'm gonna let the boys handle the mechs. I'm gonna let the, uh, these guys just handle the trucks. Boom. Run over here. Oh, I'm actually having to, like, multitask here. Trying to keep everyone on, uh, on point. Yeah, this convoy is definitely done. Kaboom! Oh, man! I blew up a, uh, I blew up a fuel truck and I think it just destroyed everyone. Luckily, none of my- <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. I could have accidentally blown up my own crew. Luckily, I did not. Alright, Hitman has become a veteran. Well, he has command of his own, uh... His own roughnecks, of course he would be a veteran. We got, uh, two hunchbacks. Not bad. Not the mechs I want. But the mechs, I guess I will take. Um, green, green, green. Any cool mechs to buy? We finally can buy catapults, but like I'm just not super interested in them at the moment. 18 meters per second. We gotta stop stop getting these like destroy convoy missions. Um, ooh, time limit, 15 minutes, interesting. We need combat missions. Oh, 400 tons, this is a combat mission. All right, so uh, for a mission like this, I don't think we necessarily need speed. So we're totally gonna dump the roughnecks. Uh, so let's go in here. So I will repair these guys up in case I ever feel like bringing them out again. But let's take off all their good weaponry. See, later in the this game, is, you get enough items so you don't have to do this, but like, I have so few long-range missile racks, or I'm using so many, I guess, that I can't afford to put a mech into storage without stripping it of parts first. <laughs> I'm like, I desperately need every PPC, every ER laser, everything. I don't need the autocannon. Let's get out of here, Falcon. Um, and I should always check if they're willing to sell me a PPC. Oh, they actually are. Two PPCs. Done. I... I not even gonna ask any questions. Couple of LRMs, boom. All right. So let's see what kind of mechs we have in the bay. A couple of 50 tonners. A couple of another 50 tonner. So what do we have? 200, right? So if we take the catapult and this guy. Wait, one, one, two, three, four. That's a hundred. Those guys and a centurion. All right, this is it's not going to quite be 200, uh, but it should be close ish. We'll repair up all these guys. All right, time to equip them. All right, so here's the crew. Actually, I didn't even realize this guy's jump jets. That it could be handy. Uh, PPC, large pulse rifle. I would have thrown another PPC on, but honestly, I just didn't have one. A couple of LRM racks. Uh, large pulse rifle PPC LRM rack, uh, ER laser PPC, bunch of LRM racks, and a Gauss rifle uh, PPC, large ER laser, other than that, LRM rack. So pretty similar loadouts for the Hunchback 2Cs. Pretty sure I don't have any other heavy-ish mechs, no. Um, and then we have uh, these guys. The These are the boys from last time. So you guys have seen those. 
And I think that is all the good weapons that we really have to put on them. So now we need to assign some pilots. So let's go in here. So first of all, uh, who is the Goss rifle? We're going to put Hitman in this, this one is here. Uh, then we'll throw this is Scarab. Scarab in, let's say. And we'll throw, I don't know. This is Countess. Countess. This is Countess. Falcon here. Yes, sir. Falcon is going to be our jump capable behind the enemy lines type dude. Even though she's a lady. Type dudette, we'll say. Uh, and... Okay, so Hunter is, of course, leading the crew. Hunter and Lynx. And who else was in the crew last time? I forget. Okay, Hitman. Uh, Scarab. I'm, like, losing track of everyone. The Beast. Uh, oh, it was Beast's Boys. Oh, well, whatever. It's changing. So this is the, the Hunchbacks. And then Falcon will just be here. Falcon's going to split off into her own uh, team. So there's the boys, there's uh, the Roughnecks, and then Falcon and then will be the sort of the jump capable behind the enemy lines uh, type unit. So Falcon here, you are selected. going into your own crew. All right, now everyone just go and take them down. This is a nice, easy smash and grab. Destroy the hyper pulse generator. All right, we can do that. Nice and easy. Let's uh, go ahead and destroy this thing. Boom. So it is actually advantageous if you can not waste ammo. So assigning like five guys to attack that one tower would have been a huge waste. Um, so assigning just one to do it is better. All right, we have a little town here. Detecting a new sensor target. Um, hello. Would you like to be destroyed? Enemy vehicle destroyed. Destroy okay, this to boom. Easily done, sir. It's okay, everyone, guard. Oh, here we go. Here is an enemy I'm who likes to be destroyed. Destroy him. Kaboom, kaboom. All right, the battles are becoming more intense now and awesome. Yes. So the guard command turns out to be essential. Just telling them to guard and clicking on a location means they will just start opening fire into everything. So guard, it's basically the attack move. Um, okay. You guys destroy that. Destroy it quick. <laughs> Man, they're just all coming for me. This is, like, not a sneaky operation at all. I'm just straight up, uh, you know, invading them. <laughs> and they know it's coming. They know I'm coming. I know that they know I'm coming. We all know what's going on. Kaboom, kaboom. Dude, get over here and destroy this tower. There we go. Perimeter alarm destroyed. Ah, oh, no, what? The alarm ended up going off. I don't know what consequence that has for anything, but... Anyway, everybody run over this way. We're going to try and flank the base and sneak in through the back. Here, you destroy these annoying alarms. There you go. There's mines over here. Oh my god, dudes. Stay out of the mines. The hell just exploded. I don't know what's going on in this battle. Alright, if we can run over this way. taking fire. All right, time for your behind the scenes. Where are you? Falcon, you wanted this, man. Or lady, get over here. Okay, destroy this. We need to capture this tower. Boom, okay, we just got that tower. Okay, I, I feel like trying to capture these towers is kind of a waste. How about we just destroy this part of the wall and rush in there? 
Destroy. Who wants some of this? All right, everybody in the base. Trying to be all sneaky and like <laughs> capture these towers one at a time is kind of foolish. Boom. All right, everybody guard. Okay, capture. Reporting building capture. Wait there, how many vehicle destroyed? All right, everybody just get over this way. Everybody guard your way over here. One less bad guy. Very good, sir. We're like in the middle of their base here. Very good, sir. One less bad guy. Yeah, destroy them. These guys have just decided not to participate. Get over here. Here, they're coming after me. This is Falcon. Check it out, sir. Can somebody destroy this perimeter alarm? I don't need more alarms going off. We don't want to alert them to the, uh, their presence. We're like ransacking through their base, destroying, destroying them. We're like, shh, disable the alarms. We don't want them to know we're in the base. I'm on it, sir. All right, we've captured many of their buildings. Right, capturing their turrets. Oh, there's still two more turret things here to capture. Uh, you run down here. So much for that. And he captures this. It's kind of annoying that there. Oh, there's like another one over there too. There's so many different uh, turret control towers. Reporting building captured. Cap. I just want to capture them all in case after we destroy this hyperpulse generator, like I don't know, it's reinforcements or something come. Also, because I'm a completionist. There we go. We not only captured, we not only destroyed the hyperpulse generator, but we turned all the enemy turrets onto our side. We got a commendation, too. Everybody got plenty of kills. It was a kill stravaganza. Everyone's feeling good about themselves. We got another hunchback. I guess hunchback 2Cs are going to be our go-to medium mech, because we have so many of them. Uh, destroy the enemy supply train. Damn it, we need fast mechs again. Uh, I just retired all the fast mechs. Oh, two more PPCs are for sale, though. We're gonna have to unretire the fast mechs, so we need all the parts we can get. All right, so we unretired the cougars. The cougars are back in action. <laughs> the cougars. It's funny because now I have a squad of cougars. It's like this team squad name is like a ladies' night or something, you know? Looking for the twenty-year-olds in the bar. So we've got a gang of uh, cougars, hot older lady mechs, on the lookout for young studs, armed with PPCs. Well, except this one. Actually, I'll fix that. Let me fix that right now. Uh, armed with PPCs and LRM racks. They, the Cougars got big racks, if you know what I, need, I mean. So there you go. Um, well, this one even has an ER large laser too. Actually, it's a pretty good trade-off. Wait, how did I swing that? PPC, oh, because it's a Cougar W. It has more room for weapons. It has a, a smaller rack, but uh, more bang. And it's badonkadonk, I don't know. Anyway, we got the cougars. We got ladies' night right here. And then we have uh, our trusty old catapult and centurion. So yeah, I think this will be good. I, it's a good. It's good to have some speed. You don't want to have because if you look at the map, we have to go all the way over here before we can even engage them. So these guys will be the power hitters. Basically, they're probably going to end up having to come in and reinforce these guys who are going to sort of run in initially and just clear the air, clear the way there and initially harass combat the uh, train or whatever. So, uh, all right, ladies, show them what you got. Show them the power of a Coog. Meanwhile, boys night or the boys club or whatever is just going to follow behind. We got a bunch of hunchbacks, hunchback Jays. Meaning those are jump capable. Really, where are all the mad cats? We've seen one mad cat in this whole game, and it was 
in like a really early mission. If we, imagine if we had been able to salvage that, how big a deal it would be. Like to have a 75 ton fast clan mech. Like that's just insane. That would have been awesome. Easily done, sir. Boom, yeah, boom. Sir. You guys just guard over here. Easily done, sir. All right. I, it's it's good when they're fighting like weak units to just let them guard because then you'll just, they'll just pick targets of opportunity and like you don't need them focus firing things down. Oh no! Did you destroy the bridge? Uh, the bridge! The bridge! Is the bridge still good? It looks totally obliterated. But I guess it's not. If we zoom in. Oh, it's just the, the tattered husks of the tanks or whatever. All right, well, we made it here. Actually, maybe we didn't need speed in this one. We could just park one atlas on the track and just obliterate it. Destroy the entire supply train. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get to doing. I'm going to have my heavy hitters on one side and my other dudes on the other. Waiting for this train. I guess we don't need the map at this point. We found the track. I don't think the I don't think there's any mystery as to where the train's gonna be. I don't want to be standing in the middle in case it's like a high speed train. It comes plowing through and like obliterates one of my guys. I have no idea how fast this train is gonna go. I'm sure it will go fairly slow. Anyway, let's continue running along the tracks here. I do really like the look of these cougars. They're really neat looking mechs. It just so happens to be that they very quickly get outclassed by much more powerful mechs later on. I mean, the thing with the Mad Cat is Mad Cats move much faster than my medium mechs, and they have more firepower and armor, so they're just hands down far superior mechs. So it's like... I mean, and they even look cooler than the Cougar, so they even got that going on for them, too. Alright, here we go. That looks like a train to me. Alright. You guys just go ahead and obliterate these mechs. Easily done, sir. Boom, there goes the train. Easily done, sir. Boom. In fact, actually, let's take down these hunchbacks, because they tend to be more powerful mechs. Let's see how they like this. Everybody back off. Boom, alright. Hunchback after hunchback is going down. I'm not too worried about the Ulers. That guy's like limping. He sprained his ankle. Oh man, how embarrassing! In the middle of a fight. There we go. All right. That, that guy's like all of a sudden very afraid. All right, kaboom. All right, well that was pretty easy. Let's see what we got going. Oh, we can just walk on these. We can just walk on the tankers and destroy them. Or can we? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, man! That destroyed one of our dudes. Okay, we don't want to do that. As it turns out. Dear God. Alright, pro tip. Don't walk all over the, the thing. That, uh, that might have damaged us. Oh, no! We lost a PPC! <laughs> and four LRMs. Because we stupid. Because we stupid. Okay, is there anything left to destroy? Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Okay, what, do we, what were we supposed to do? Destroy the entire supply train. That's, I feel like that's done. Mission accomplished at great personal cost. Mission objective complete. Oh god. Mission successful. Wow. <laughs> that was, we lost the mech. It finally happened. We finally lost the mech. Not to combat, by walking on an explosive train by accident. And we lost a PPC. The LRM racks I could care less about. I'll get more of those. We lost a PPC. Can we buy a new PPC? That would make me feel better. It would offset, no we cannot. It would offset the idiocy that we just witnessed. Son of a bitch. Well, easy come, easy go. Capture the enemy base headquarters in six minutes and then defend the captured base. I like that. Um, oh man, how embarrassing. Okay. So basically at this point, we're more or less gonna be retiring light max, unless we can get like a, a medium to light crew of um, jump capable max. 
So jump capability is something we're definitely going to be keeping our eye out for. I would love to have a jump capable mad cat, I tell you. Uh, but that is like, at this point, a pipe dream, a bit of a pipe dream. Ah, uh, man, I can't believe we lost a PPC. There you go. Put that back on there and let's pretend that never happened. We have one spare PPC, which is nice. 400 tons. That means each of these could be 50. Yeah, and then we'd be okay. So 50. So we have enough hunchbacks to make that work. Hmm. And we actually have some spare tonnage. Yeah, well, let's just see how this all plays out. Um, We got another hunchback 2C. And my inclination is let's retire the non... So Inner Sphere mechs are just less capable than their clan counterparts. So I'm actually going to retire that hunchback. And we'll have a gang of hunchbacks. Uh, hunchback 2Cs. 2 stands for 2 and C stands for clan. These are clan made sequel hunchbacks. They made a sequel to a mech. They were like, hey, you know what's cool? The hunchback. Let's make a sequel to that. So they made another hunchback. Um, double PPC'd hunchback. That is a hunchback you don't want to mess with. That's a hunchback that will hunch back. You try and hunch this guy and he's going to hunch you right back. Hence the name, the hunchback. This is Hitman. Um, all right, Hitman. Who, who died last time? So notice the little red dots above them. Scarab was the guy who ejected in a panic after he realized he was walking on explosive mechs. This is the beast. So Scarab had Scarab had a this is scared moment. This is Scarab. Okay, let's, however, just try and move on. But we're going to have... The hunchbacks are going to be team number one, I think, this time. So that's the A team. And now we need to have the support team. And we have a lot of money and not much to do with it. So let's let's do a few things here. First of all, there's nobody worth hiring. So forget about that. It would be fun to have an Atlas, I think. So why don't we just buy big old, big old, big old hunker. It's, I feel like an Atlas would be good for a defense mission. So, all right, let's do it. Uh, we're going to have some money left over. Sure. Right here is our atlas. I should have bought the one with the PPCs, but you know, whatever. You live, you learn. We don't need short range weaponry on you. Um, in fact, actually, I should sell some of these things. Okay, hold on. Purchasing. I will sell you for four thousand. I will sell you. Look at all these oolers. We're gonna clear house of the oolers. Uh, before you do, though, it's good to, like... Yeah, look at this. This guy had clan large or ER lasers that we would want. Good to just double check. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. This guy has nothing. This guy... Nothing. But he's jump capable, so we'll actually keep him. Um, we'll tear his equipment out. I'm going to hold on to a couple of jump capable mechs. Just in case I decide that I want to do something with that. Nothing, nothing. It's hard to know which Uller you've looked at. And I, in fact, I should have just threw them all in together. Okay, I think I can sell these Ullers. Uh, we'll sell you. Sell you. I'm going to keep the jump capable one. And maybe I'll just keep... Well, I'll keep those. They're, those are all repaired. Fine. Um, I'm pretty sure these fire starters we don't want. This guy's missing a PPC, goddammit. Nothing we want, nothing we want. PPC? No. Okay, so the fire starters, I'm just gonna sell all of those. Purchasing. Sell, yeah, like mechs just accumulate for us. Yeah, we don't want them. Uh, Coogs, we're gonna keep the Coog team around, we're gonna keep the Raven around. Do we need the Hunchback? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. I think we sell that one. There's better mechs that we've got. All right, there we go. We successfully got some money back after we uh, sold everything for this awesome Atlas. Now we can put on some ER lasers. Uh, do we want to put on another LRM rack? Yeah, why not? 
boom. All right, this guy is a behemoth. And I think we're out of good mech warriors, so... Um, we're going to have to pull somebody. So we're definitely going to bring this guy into combat. And we will definitely bring this guy into combat. Let's Falcon take... here. Let's leave our jump-capable Centurion. And let's go ahead and throw Falcon in here. Or Mystique. This is Mystique. Uh, this you know what? Mystique. I'm gonna let somebody get it. trained up. Some <laughs> a green pilot's gonna pilot the hundred ton mech. We need people to be trained. This is Mystique. or do we? No, I I think we do. Falcon here. We're gonna go ahead and throw Falcon in. Or actually, this is Hitman. Falcon here. Maybe this Hitman's is Hitman. gonna take it. And Falcon here. Falcon there. We go. And. Since this mech is not in use, let's salvage its PPC for right now. And I want that, this bad boy. Kaboom, there we go. Even the, though the ER large laser has longer range, only does four damage, PPC does almost double the damage. And enemy mechs are almost always gonna engage you at medium range, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we got the Beast Boys, and then we got the Roughnecks who are coming in as Come literally the backup behemoths. That should be their name, the backup behemoths. All right. In fact, I kind of wish I had two atlases. That would be so intimidating. But I feel like an atlas and a catapult. Like, look how slow he is. Even though the atlas is the biggest mech in the game, I honestly still prefer the Mad Cat. I think it just has a better mix of speed. Like, the Atlas might be the biggest and most armored, but I almost prefer to have that speed and maneuverability a little bit. And again, by having the long-range weapons... Um... Oh my god, we have to go all the way around the front. We should have brought a jump-capable mech! Nobody's jump-capable! I did not plan this out. Okay, whatever. We're doing it the hard way. See, this is why you want some jump capability. Um, and, and this just goes to the point I was making. You want a little bit of maneuverability in your mechs. A little bit of maneuverability. We only have five minutes left. I don't even know if my mechs can make it around to the front of the base in five minutes. I guess we will see. There's lots of sweet cargo to capture, though. Assuming we can all ass and get over there. Move! Look how slow the Atlas is. But he is not afraid of anything. Oh yeah, you wanna good, see something, buddy? Kaboom! Oh, he just straight up ejected! He wasn't even gonna wait. He was like, I see what's coming for me. It is the world's biggest, most scary atlas. Forget it. Alright, everybody. Engage! Just engage everything. There we go. Go and have some fun, guys. I feel like my crew is finally getting into, like, the big mechs, and I'm like, you guys, you guys go out and have some fun. Just enjoy yourselves out there. See, if we had jump-capable mechs, we could already be in the base. And the thing that's annoying is we can't even get to the turret controls. We're probably, our mechs are probably in self-defense going to destroy all the turrets before we even get a chance to take them over. So these turrets, which could help us defend the base, are basically just going to get obliterated by us. Like, there goes another one. Hitman here. I hear my guys oh, destroying them. Incoming fire. And I'm capture. And capture. All right. All right, we got, we got the things that we needed. Reporting building capture. So we destroyed some turrets. That's okay. Oh, look at all these uh, components to capture. You get in on it too, Atlas Man. Okay, is there anything else to capture? No. Hey, that's like a daring to shoot at me. Okay. You go over here. And you go over here. Easily done, sir. Why are these? Oh, I was gonna say, why are my turrets not doing anything? They're destroyed. They got destroyed. Oh, that guy just straight up ejected. 
Oh, is that guy too? Look, you can see the pilots going off in the space. Whoa, those things go high. Look at this. I, I thought those uh, those pilot ejection things would like stop after a little bit, but I th they go into like low orbit. They're like, forget about this. They hit eject and they fly to another planet. <laughs> they fly to a friendlier planet where they're not their war is not going so bad. All right, uh, one team hang out here, one team hang out here, and you guys just have fun. The name of the game is fun, people. I don't even need the map. I don't care what's coming. I will handle everything in due time. In due course. Yeah, like they need jump. Jump. See, if I could jump, I could have jumped here. Could have jumped here. Taken out the one mech there. Boom, boom. Capture those. The whole base is under my control. My turrets would have turned on all those vehicles. The vehicles that I had to fight manually. Um, you know, would have been just destroyed by the turrets. Out, boom, sir. kaboom. Kaboom. This is counted. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Yeah, you did it! You heroes! Yeah, heroes! Really, this is the only entrance to the base. I just, I don't want to keep guys right there, because, I mean, clearly, some dudes could come jump up and attack me from behind. And if you guys remember, in the first video, what happened when I didn't properly defend my base is... I got attacked from behind and I lost. But let's try and strike these guys. See if we can time it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, perfect timing. Kaboom. That guy's like, hey, man, what the hell? What is that crap? All right. Kaboom. Can you stand up to that? Oh, he did. All right. Over here. I could bring in the the reinforcements, but I kind of wanted to see these two guys in action. I want these two guys to have some fun. Boom! Oh, that guy just ejected. He's done. Oh, you dare fire on an Atlas? You worthless hunchback! Not even a hunchback 2C, just a hunchback. He's like getting shot in the back by a turret. Boom! Off he goes. Enemy mech destroyed. Way to go, Hitman! It would, I think it'd be kind of interesting to be one of those actors, you know? Like, I'm sure... Where are those guys firing at? Hey, you're done. He's done. He's had enough. He's had enough. Done, sir. <laughs> I'm sure the actors who, who play uh, dudes in, uh, Easily done, sir. you know, in the in the little... Uh, I don't know what you call it. The, the face... The face things. The face things. <laughs> The, the actors who are playing the dudes in this game, I'm sure that's not what they wanted when they signed up to become actors. You know, like they were hoping they would be in movies and stuff, so maybe it's a disappointment to them to be in a video game. But I would think it would be kind of cool. That's just me, though. Look, these guys have jump jets, too. Let's see you know they're evil. Scumbags. It's raining bullets over here. It's raining bullets over here. Well, what do you got, a pea shooter? Fire back, soldier! There we go. He's still firing. He's already dead! My guys, it's not it's not enough for my guys to, like, destroy the enemy. They have to, like, humiliate them. Alright, I'm, I'm sending my, uh... My hunchbacks. They're going out hunching. Stop firing, dude! You got him! You got him. My hunchbacks are going out for a hunch. They have a hunch there might be some more enemies coming. Meanwhile, these guys will just hold down the base. These guys will just hold down the base. Alright, hunchbacks, prove your worth to me! Take a cent three centurions versus three hun two hunchbacks. I don't even know where the third one is. He's pieced out somewhere. Oh, here he comes. Where's the fourth one? There he is. Alright, three on four. I was gonna say three on three honorable battle, but it's not as honorable as some people might want. It's not your classic definition of honor, basically, but I call it honorable. It's more of a chance than these guys are ever gonna have. Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh, the enemy's actually making it in. Alright, time to be totally dishonorable. Kaboom! 
Boom! <laughs> Alright, that was super easy. But fun. Sorry, I can't do that. Enemy pilots. Oh, we even ki we should have killed an enemy pilot. I like to imagine he ejected from his mech and he was flying into orbit. And my guys were like, not so fast. And they like aimed up there with a the PPC and like fired it off. Um, we got three ER lasers, two PPCs. I mean, we got other stuff, but I'm just seeing like what interests me. We got ER lasers. We're going to rip off that Ulu W. Remember to do that. That is about it. Punchbacks or scrap, we'll sell those. Hollanders, would have been cool to have one like five missions ago. And so that mission successfully wraps up our second operation. Operation Skyhook is a success. As you can see here, we're now into Operation Vanguard, which is the third major sort of phase of this uh, invasion of Port Arthur. Incoming There's a new campaign briefing to see, but uh, we're going to save that for the next video here. Um, as we did last time, I just wanted a chance to look at our spoils before we actually go. So, I think we had a new Uller that we were going to pull lasers off of. I just don't want to forget to do this. I'm not even going to pull these other clan things off of it. We'll just straight up go and sell that uh, Uller here. Yes. And I think there was like some hunchbacks that we can get rid of. Hollanders. Do these have anything of interest? Not really. They're very interesting mechs. They're kind of like mini hunchbacks because they're like small mechs with one giant cannon. There's the pilot. I mean, the mechs are really cool, uh, but they're just not anything that we can use. Yeah, those things have been obliterated. I wonder who obliterated those. Those things probably would have been even less obliterated had my guys not continued to fire on them after they were dead. Anyway, we'll sell this, we'll sell this, we'll sell this. So we're going to be all ready for the next video here. So there's our uh, our crew of dudes. Wait, did we salvage this guy? We totally did. All right, whatever. Um, anyway, I think we got a pretty good thing going on here. Our crew is slowly getting bigger. We have unlocked every mech except the awesome, but I feel like... You know, if you're going to have a giant mech, you might as well get the uh, the Atlas. Uh, I don't think we'd ever really buy an awesome. But, I mean, they do look cool. Maybe we would. I don't know. Uh, but we are now into the third phase of the invasion, as I say. We're going to be tackling that next week. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the little uh, playthrough here of Mech Commander. If you have, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And yeah, until we meet again, my friends, remember, no guts. No galaxy. Peace. Oh! Oh, shoot! Be stupid.